Mikey and Bob from 961 Kiss with Lynn, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Um, Lynn, uh, where are you from? Uh, we're from Greene County, Pennsylvania, right to the landing area. Oh, okay, so you're kind of from around the area. Kind of. Well, we've <laughs> talked yeah, to you. You understand the Steelers and the yeah. Pirates oh, yeah, yeah, and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of yeah. people, you know, out, yeah. of, out of state. I mean, we've yeah. talked to some other people from out of state, so yeah. 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 Um, and why exactly are you here at the Ronald McDonald House? Tell us your, a little bit about your situation. Um, in January, our our youngest son, who is now eight, uh, was diagnosed with a second cancer, and they determined that he needed a bone marrow transplant, which they did March 1st here. Um, it failed, it didn't work, <laughs> and so now we're doing some experimental things and preparing for a possible second transplant for him. And uh, so we're just kind of hanging out and <laughs> going to chemo and, you know, and what's his name? His name is Daniel. Daniel, and you said he was eight years yes, old. He's eight. How how much easier does it make uh, on a situ on a tough situation like that, where you know you've had some some things fail and stuff like that, and you really don't know uh, w where the end is going to be? How much easier does it kind of make it by staying at a place like the Ronald McDonald House here? So much. <laughs> 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 you know, it's like only five minutes to get over there, as opposed to two two and a half hours. You know, depending on traffic coming back and forth. Um, it, it's it's a whole lot less strain on him, a whole lot less strain on me. And uh, you know, if they need us back quickly, we can come right back real quickly. Yeah. That kind of a thing. Is this your second stay? No, we have been here. No, I mean the first the first transplant. Did you stay for the first transplant? We have been here. Oh, since. you've been here all along. Okay. We have been here. So you've been yeah, here. Yeah, we've been here almost five months now. <laughs> so, yeah, this has become our second home, and so. Um, in, in, in a setting like this, though, is we, you know, for people who don't know the Ronald McDonald House, me and Bob have taken a tour of it, and we kind of explain to it's like, you know, the kids have to get their care and stuff like that, but but for the families, it's almost kind of like a hotel for the families in a way. When you say kind of. Yes and no. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's, it's better than a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's a little bit better. Then. Tell everybody like your day. Like, how is it better than a hotel? Well, I mean, we have somewhat of a kitchen facility in the room there, and so, you know, we can have our breakfast right there, we can have our lunches right there. Uh, if we need to cook anything, we can come right up here and do, do the cooking, you know, so it's more family than it is hotel Yeah. in that sense. Um, you know, my husband and my daughter come and, and visit us twice a week, as his work schedule allows, and so, you know, there's room enough for all of us there, and, and you know, this is... Like I said, it's become like a second home more than just a hotel. Yeah. But as far as it being like a hotel, it's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's very well kept and it's very, it, it, the, the rooms are just um, immaculate, <laughs> I think. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, we're sitting on like leather yeah, yeah. couches. There's a fireplace <laughs> and a flat screen TV exactly, in front of us yeah, here with a, a little kid's playroom over here and right, everything. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very comfortable and um, it's, it's, it's been a sanity saver for us. <laughs> how how old is your is your daughter? No, she is ten. She's ten. So, um, you know, coming to a place like this when your husband and your daughter get a visit, I mean, she has stuff here she can do too while you guys are she, caring for she him. She raids the craft closet every time. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, she's yeah, and because it can be long and boring and drawn out because mm -hmm. you, know, you hurry up and you, then you wait for the doctor and you hurry up and you wait. You know, and Daniel's not able to go and do a lot of things. Yeah. Right. And so it, it's, it's kind of boring for her, but she, she does well. She holds the craft closet and, right. <laughs> and all of that. So, so it, it, it has, it's, it's, it's been the best that it can be. <laughs> for, for, for like a, a, a parent, I mean, me and Bob are both uh, parents. We, we have young kids too. And um, for, for a parent who isn't in this situation, but you know, you never expect to be in a situation like this, but yeah. For, for a parent who is in this situation now, why should somebody, you know, that's that's maybe listening or, or watching this, why should somebody maybe take a few extra dollars and actually think about a place like the Ronald McDonald House? Like a parent. Because you don't know you need it until you need it. And it's, you know, um, all through our, our son's first cancer, we never needed Ronald McDonald. But this time, we need it, and we need to be here. And, and some people need it for one night, and some of us need it for a really long time. You know? <laughs> um, and, and, and you can't anticipate 
that that need, you know, because I mean, I can stay in, you know, when he was in the hospital, I can stay in the hospital room with him. My husband could possibly even stay there, but my daughter can't stay there. You yeah. know, there's not enough room for everybody. You know, it's not set up for that. But this gives us the chance to still try to be together as a family while we're going through this situation. It lessens the strain a little bit oh, on so much. what's actually so much. happening and almost kind of yeah. to take your mind off the actual stuff yeah, that's happening. Even, even when he was over there in the room, you know, every so often it's just like, I'm going to go to Ron's dump house and just get away for a few minutes. Yeah, you know? and it's almost like when we took the tour, you see the little things that you don't even think about, like doing your laundry on a day to day basis exactly. or. What are you going to make for breakfast when exactly. there's such bigger issues going on in your life? Yeah. yeah. And they right. take care of it all. They, they really do. They really do try their best, I should say. <laughs> you know, they, they, they try to anticipate everything that, that, you, that you would need. I, th I think you kind of nailed it perfectly, though, when you said it, if you're a parent, you don't know you need it until you need it, though, you know. And right. Like I said, being parents ourselves, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine being in your situation. And, you know, it makes you want to you know, make sure there's a place like this. Yeah, because, you know, if, if, if it wasn't for that, we would be renting something here or at a hotel every night. The you know, cost would be probably astronomical. Exactly. You know, and, 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 and they're very generous and very helpful yeah. in, in all, you know, in, in taking care of all of that. And it's just, yeah, <laughs> it's just amazing. I, I feel, I'm very thankful. Cool. Well, we appreciate you uh, sharing your story, you know. It's good to yeah. talk to somebody who's, you know, actually kind of from the area and, and you know, from Pittsburgh and everything like that. And uh, thank you for sharing your story. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Best of luck to you and your family.